Hey what's up guys, this is Val Cameron from Dreamlight. In today's video, I'm going to do a quick review of IDG Toolbox Studio by Destiny Gardens and Inna Glory. And this is a large set and I've been using it for a couple of renders now. And it looks pretty awesome and bring up some memories when I was, you know, back in the 90s. Uh, I was, you know, traveling the world and photography. So this brings a lot of mem memories and it looks great. It has a lot of detail and vers versatility and gives you a lot of options. You have this waiting lounge, you have um, toilets, right? And you've also got here the, um, obviously, makeup rooms, right? With this typical uh, lamps and all so forth. You've got several rooms where you can have all those kind of photo equipment and lights and backgrounds. And they come with several options, and it's it's a dual floor studio. You have this waiting room and office up here as well. Uh, so I like the you know the entire thing. It just gives so many options for camera and obviously lights. And while all this looks awesome on the paper, I always want to check it you know for myself. That's what I'm going to do. This quick review. So let's head into um, industry real quick here. Just forgot to show these extra options here that uh, you can use to change the environments the studio sets and so forth and obviously the rest of the scenery one thing that it doesn't have so much is the the equipment side of things it doesn't have you know a lot of options there um, unfortunately so let's dive into that so when you have it installed you can find everything here under let me just wait for this to load there we go so obviously Midas library props idg designs toolbox studio and you've got here the full or just the studio load and the full i just click on that loads the entire set as you can see it's a huge set that looks really cool and let me just use both cards here so that we have a little bit quicker preview. All right, so there is some DeForce props here, like for the backdrops, right? And I think they are including curtains, and I think they are a little bit overkill. Um, there is, you know, seldom used objects underneath here, so these just should be, you know, normal props. There is no need for DeForce, in my opinion, uh, right? And also curtains, there's no need to use uh, DeForce on them. Uh, these are just static uh, props in the background. Uh, unless you have items that you want to kind of embrace your characters with, you know, but that's a different story. So in my opinion, this whole entire section is kind of like, well, it's cool, but you don't need DeForce for that. So you've got materials for, you know, um, for walls, backdrop options and so forth. These are cool. And they also have some material options for the chairs and so forth in the office and so forth. So I think it's good that you have those material options to play with. And obviously you got props you can load, you like diff different drapes, curtains, screens, uh, and so forth. But there is no equipment here, no photo equipment, right? Um, so now, as you can see, it looks very good, you know? It has a lot of detail, a close range, if you get really close to it. You can see that it, it indeed has a lot of good detail. Here's the kitchen. However, right now, as of you know, you're looking at this right now. I'm using two GeForce RTX 280 Ti cards, and yet it takes a while to populate the scene. So this is a very heavy scene and it also relies heavily on emissive light options, right? So if you're using the default lights, you're going to end up with pretty long um, rendering times, unfortunately. So this is a small drawback that the built-in uh, prop only uses emissives. There's no other light options. And that takes a lot of power to render. And even though I'm using the Let's say I'm using the denoiser on, right? So it takes away the noise. Still, it takes a long time for the detail to appear on these cards. 
All right, so let's um, let's go ahead and take a look at the options. We have the wedding room here, obviously, looks lovely, and there is nothing outdoors, so you are free to just use anything here. Let me just remove, for instance, the um, default setting there, and just draw them on, and just use some kind of exterior lighting here. So you can bring uh, outdoor lighting into the room which is awesome and obviously we can also apply a little bit of horizon blur there we go so that is cool and now let's get into and you've got the exit here right or entry really cool i love you know all the options this gives i mean this is this is just beautiful really beautiful and then you go in here and you've got the makeup lounge the makeup room right and it has it's a pretty large uh, room here one option on this side all right and one on the side over here uh, then you've got mini room over here as well just like a wedding room all right so um this is as you can see the main prop is the old school kind of poser format so it has these bones to it uh, which is, in my opinion, one of the biggest drawbacks of this product, which means that when you load it, you cannot just say, hey, I want to just use this makeup, makeup room, right? And I want to remove all the other stuff here. You cannot do that. You cannot just click on balcony and remove it. Doing so, we remove the entire prop. So you are kind of forced to keep everything in there, including the props, which you can remove, obviously. So the smaller props like plants, trees, and so forth, you can uh, remove. But everything else needs to be in the scene. I think this is a uh, kind of like a design mistake. I would love for those to be separated so I can remove this stuff. Obviously, if you don't use something, you can now click on it and find its surfaces, right? Like the balcony. So you can go ahead and say, hey, okay, I don't want to use it in the render. Yeah, we can remove it, but it's still there, it takes up memory and clogs up textures and all that. So that's that. Let me just go into one of the rooms. Well, I love the dual floor. I mean, that was just amazing, right? He also has a small office here, obviously. So it's a, I mean, there is so, so many, I'm, I'm impressed by the options because it's like a real life set. You can just walk around. It's like a virtual set, and you can have you know fashion shows in here, parties. You can have photo shoots. So it's a whole new spectrum of things that just you know uh, end up here. So it's a cool set here, right? In all these lamps, uh, for instance here, lighting frame framework. In scissor arm. So these. Um, you can you know rotate them that's that's something you can do right and you can obviously move them but there is no other equipment available other than the one you've got here so there's no you know additional stuff you can load that's also something for this for this set this huge i would love you know all the uh, camera options like light options to be uh, loadable so to speak right let's go into the next room here which is the bathroom over here again very detailed room love all the options it has then i'm gonna go outside here and go into the next room which is this and i also love the layout it's like a real set it, it's you know the bathroom is here in between uh it's a real set it even has fuse box room right and yeah we've blown a few boxes during the years uh, <laughs> always you know um so i love that you know and then you got this huge set over here and according to the promo images you can set a car or even load a huge uh truck in here which is awesome so i love those options all right so basically love the set love it love the look uh love all the options it gives you with the you know camera framing all that 
bear in mind it's a little bit slow in rendering because it has a lot of emissive lights and also you cannot remove all the sections the main sections are like in all the prop uh, poser the type of props so if you remove one component everything else goes as well and hiding it well from the rendering is one thing but still there in the memory um, so I'd love this prop to maybe have a future update when those things are separated so then you have all these options and I'm not gonna cover every option here I'm just gonna quickly go into the material option here because you can go like in this room here you've got this uh, blue toned background here right and we can go ahead and click on it using the node selection there we go and then you simply scroll down here and you've got these options you can just click hey I want this one or I want this one and these are awesome they look great they look just like on a photo set <laughs> I have uh, one of them I have uh, purchased on my own, similar to this one, but it's gray toned. So it's just cool to see the, all these options here. However, I'd, I'd like more of these options to be available, uh, like different colors, you know. Obviously, you can go in here and adjust them on your own, right? You can remove the base uh, texture or you can keep it and override the color. So by all means, you can go ahead and change these on your own. Um, you can even remove the texture and get plain and color options and so forth. But still, I'd like these options to be available here for quick um, modifying, right? So, same thing in this room. You got here the um, drape, the curtains, right? So you can go ahead and locate a color option for that, which are awesome. Again, some more options would be great. But it's not a big deal. You can always change them uh, manually. Um, and I'm not going to go through all these options, but let's say you want to change the floor. So select the floor and just change it to something else. And on it goes. All right, and got some other stuff here like stale layouts and so forth. So, very cool set. That's everything I want to cover, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have fun with this. If you want to check out more, click on the link below. And as always, would love to hear from you. Um, hear your comments. If you found this video useful, or if there's anything else you'd like me to cover in future videos. Guys, have fun. See you soon again.